Hey, what is up guys? Guitarok here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, this week for C server. So let's see what do we have for fellow C server players. We got something. Alright, so let's check it out. Uh, hopefully give you guys an idea of what C server is getting this week in terms of the updates. So C server uh, update has been... I wouldn't say uh, completely halted or slowed down. Uh, it definitely is slower than it used to be, for sure. But uh, I actually like it that they are adding more and more units, uh, like one or two units rather than adding four to five units every single week. So as you can see this week, we have a new counter pass, all right? We also have a new event as well. So the current event is going away. A new event episode for Miracle Investigation Council 9 will be unlocked. So the story will not be collected in collection. So they have been adding more and more story that will not be added in collection. So that's really unfortunate. So hopefully, you know, this will give you guys an idea of the... You know, if you have to read the story, make sure you guys read it through. New challenge. Uh, Officium Divinum Unlock. Uh, this is going to be, I believe, to farm exclusive gear. There's no details that I can look up for, but I have a feeling this is going to be exclusive to some of the characters. And then we have a uh, counter pass. So counter pass mission and reward, Biblit Lucy. Luce, I think that's how you say it. So uh, current one is uh, Clarif. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, Clarif is... He's not bad, all right? He's not like the worst unit ever, but it's just uh, a little bit underwhelming, I would say, if that's a term that I can say. Right, so I wish he is, you know, he can be used more. And you can see this one is going away. But uh, we rearm Esterosa around. I don't see much use for him uh, per se. So that's also one thing to keep in mind. Uh, he's not too bad if rearm Esterosa didn't exist, I would say. Uh, and then we have uh, Lulu, a uh, Clarif Morse added to the uh, Recruit on Demand, which is the standard banner. And we have a bunch of packages going on, right? And new raid season uh, currently in... Uh, in C server, we currently have the Britra raids. Uh, sorry, uh, inhibitor. So Britra is going to swap in. So let's talk about the counter pass Biblit. Is she strong? What is her concept about? We're going to be referring it to Brightwen.gg. Now keep in mind, she's a three cost. All right, she can attack both ground and air. And you know, she's more of a CC kind of a debuffer, right? So in her special skills, she has an ability to reduce defense and reduce skill haste. But let's talk about one thing at a time. First things first, skills. Alright, so what does she has? So she attacks the closest enemy with paper sheets. Okay, so one valid hit, no AoE right there. A passive skill, every third basic attack, receive a buff that lasts 7 seconds, which will turn her basic into enhanced version. And what will do the enhanced basically does 25% more damage, and that's about it. Right, so uh, similar to Gayun, I think Gayun passive has something about uh, every few attacks something along those lines, she will be able to deal enhanced damage. Something along those lines, very similar concept, uh, except for this time the special skill uh, is an AoE, but it doesn't stun, right? Uh, there's no CC in terms of stunning. The CC here is in terms of uh, debuffing. Debuffing by reducing defense by 15%, which is not bad, all right? And then reducing skill haste along the, the way as well. So. In PvP, reducing skill haste is going to be a, a big staple right there. But in PvE, you don't know, in most PvE stages, you are fighting mostly CO, except for uh, Shadow Hall, Shadow Palace. And if, in particular, if you're trying to tackle Shadow Hall, Shadow Palace, which is uh, the hardest one in Shadow Palace 5 still, then maybe uh, she can be strong there. But in most cases, I would say, uh, right now, the skill haste is not, is not needed as much as in most other PvE stage. And also, this defense 15% is not bad, but Chifuyu can reduce 20% if I remember correctly. Terminator is 20%, and a lot of other characters can reduce defense that's more than 15%. So, uh, this is not like special, unless you really need the skill haste reduction as well. So, that's something to keep in mind, right? Uh, let's have a look at the ultimate skill. Maybe this will provide us more things to look at and talk about, right? So, you can see uh, she's going to knock back nearby targets, activate passive effect for 12 seconds, which is cool. Her passive effect is the one that gives her the enhanced attack. Also gains 20% defense penetration for 12 seconds. Now the defense penetration is cool and all, but I would rather this be more reduction so the team can do more damage. So at least she can be useful in raids. But sadly, it's just going to be towards her own skill. Similar to Clarif, she suffers. Uh, Clarif suffers from the same issue, uh, where 
Clareth has uh, ignore defense or something like that. Uh, it's better to if you are trying to tackle raid content, it's better to have defense uh, reduction than defense penetration, so that your team can benefit from it rather than just you alone. Uh, in this case, uh, defense penetration is just that she will only be able to benefit from it, right? So something to keep in mind. So decrease the cooldown of the skill by three seconds each time the passive is activated. I think that's not bad. Uh, again, I think she's going to be decent uh, in PvP. But the truth is, uh, there's a lot of ranges right now, right? In PV PvP, uh, if you can see, last week we have... Uh, we literally have... What is that? We have Rearm Hansorin that happened last week. Uh, Rearm Mia I, is uh, up this week. I still haven't had the chance to test her. And also we had, we have had... Uh, who was that? We also have a Chris that just came out last week, which is a different ranger altogether. She has a different concept. Uh, she's a 4 cost though. So this is... b Blight is going to be a 3 cost. Now... Bibli is uh, in a form of a counter pass. Is she worth it? In my humble opinion, I don't think she's worth the counter pass if you can't afford to get the counter pass, right? Of course, I've said this before. Counter pass is still the best thing to purchase in the game uh, if you're trying to, you know, be a low spender. If you can only buy like a, a small amount of stuffs, counter pass is going to give you the best value. Outside of skins, of course, that one is much more preference. But counter pass gives you a little bit of everything: gold binaries, uh, skill books. Uh, the character that you will get up to 106, but sadly this character is like not so useful. But you still get a lot of other things in in return. So something to keep in mind. Uh, where do I place uh, her value beyond the other counter passes? I would say about same with the current one that we have that, that's going away, which is Clareth. I would say uh, she has about the same value with him. Uh, where if you skip, it's not the end of the world. Uh, some counterparts have insane value, for example, Replacer King, value is really high there. Uh, Twins, uh, Lyudmi last one was also pretty good, but granted that that's been a while, right? But the last few counterparts has been a little bit underwhelming. Like, the characters are not super meta, where it makes players able to skip them. So I hope the next one that we're going to have, hopefully, is going to be Livia Tennis. And that's going to be much more exciting if that ever becomes a counterpass in C-Server because that was counterpass in KR. So we'll see when that happens. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of the character Bibli. Do you guys plan to buy the counterpass or do you guys plan to, you know, try to get her for your own collection or whatever? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, subscribe, give this video a like. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Good. Bye.